film the whole intro and thumbnail and I hadn't hit record. I'm fine. It's fine. Hi guys, I'm Mooney and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today, it's all about the beauty, darling. It's all about the glamour. It's all about the books whose covers I like the most. I did do the mid-year freakout tag. So there are some books up here in the cards that I have already mentioned and I didn't want to mention them again. I tried to look for books that I haven't really talked about a lot on my channel because it's not, it just sounds really repetitive. So let's get started, shall we? Let's get started with Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Now actually this whole Virago Modern Classics collection of uh, Daphne du Maurier books just has this whole aesthetic which for me is like super pleasing. I love that it's so like it's got very few colors i like that this this is really in in publishing right now like the what's it called the framing around it and i like that it's mostly words but it the, the font i don't know it's really 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 beautiful and i actually think that it goes really well with the story this is one of the most beautiful covers that i have next up this book you have seen me talk about before i mean come on you've seen me talk about most of these books before but to kill kingdom i haven't read this book this book is apparently about mermaids sirens enemies to lovers i don't know um it, it sounds really good but what i want to talk about is this like navy with gold oh uh oh mm -mm. i love it i also again i love how like it, it, i don't want to say like like not uh, like crowded because like of course this one is super crowded but i like how simple it is it's really really simple it's a simple cover it's got the title you've got a little bit of like tentacles. i've been told there are no octopuses in this book except like maybe the the, the sea queen but anyway i just i really i really love the color scheme i love how simple it is and how like I don't know. I just, I love this color combination. Next up, we have the whole Rosewater. I don't know if it's called Rosewater Trilogy, but I'll insert the pictures of the other books here, which I'm getting next month because I need them in my life. But anyway, again, just like this one, I, I, I seem to have a thing about the title being the main thing, very reduced color scheme, and just make it a little bit of horror bakui, but not with images, but with actual words, which I don't know if that says all with the ones I'm going to show you next, but I think that this color scheme is beautiful. I think the way that they like have the title in it is beautiful the back i love the spine of this looks beautiful i just mm, chef's kiss to that one this by the way is eco fiction which basically is where plants take over the world in post-apocalyptic worlds instead of machines and i think i found my place within fiction and it's eco fiction okay here's one you've never seen me talk about and the reason you've never seen me talk about this is because i believe there's no translation for this and this is like such a good book it took me over a year to read because i was so scared of what was gonna happen but oh, I gotta, i'm gonna show it to you it's called el cielo en un infierno cabe so heaven fits into a piece of hell that would be like how i would actually translate that i think that this has like such a frida Kahlo inspired cover this book is an amazing amazing story it's fabulism which is basically where magic exists in the real world but it's not urban fantasy and it's about a secret society of people who are trying to take over the world and the little girl that gets caught in between and this book is full of such interesting beautiful characters it's a love story because spanish people love their love stories man it actually does remind me a lot of the shadow of the wind which by the way the day before i filmed this the author of the shadow of the wind died and it was oh, such a loss of tra tragedy but anyway getting back to the cover i love the frida kahlo inspired cover i love how it goes all the way around i love that the blurb on the back is inside of the circle which is it's a snake biting its own tail and i just i love that because that is such so much symbolism out here is inside the book and i absolutely adore this i got this like in a second hand book fair festival thing and it, I, i'm so glad that i did and i'm so glad that i read it this was actually my summer read for like two years ago okay i'm gonna mention these two and i'm gonna mention them one of them quickly because 
I mention this all the time, and I think you're tired of hearing about it, but Magic for Liars. Love this cover again. Love it. Love everything about it. I love the way the title is like put, you know. I love the the like kind of technicolor aspect of it. I don't know if you can see, but the hand has the same like blue and yellow as the rest of the cover. And yeah, I think this is one of the most beautiful covers ever. It just really stands out in my shelf because everything else is kind of like you can see, it kind of all blends in and then you put this baby, this like bright yellow spine there and it's beautiful. I also love the inside. I love that they went with the bright ass yellow that is throwing my um, white balance out of like everything. And then blue letters, let's see if it will focus. I don't know. I don't know if that focused well enough, but yeah, I really love it. I really love this cover. It's one of my favorites. I love that you can, like every time I, I, I am editing, you can see this bitch right here. Like whenever I bring it out, I'm like, people know I'm going to talk about it because they can't see it in the background. Next up, we have another one that you saw me talk about if you saw my mid-year freak out tag, and that is Jeff Vandermeer's Dead Astronauts. I mean... It's kind of Dali-esque almost. I love that rainbow effect with the white letters. I love that the title, like if you go like this, is it like this? Is it like this? And honestly, that's just how I feel about Jeff Vandermeer. <laughs> is it like this or is it like this? I don't know, Jeff. You tell me. Uh, I haven't read this book. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't realize the inside has beautiful and chapter papers. But yeah. I'm really excited to read this one. I don't think this is gonna be as good as Born, but that cover, I saw that cover and I was like, must have, must have. What do we have next? Okay, let's go with this one. This one made the rounds on YouTube a while ago and I never talk about it because, oh, hang on, there's a sticker. I never really talk about it because I'm not sure what to say about it. It's the Essex Serpent and this is Aurora Bakui at its Finest. Look at that. There is not a single place on this book where there isn't something and it, it does have some foiling It um, it goes to the to the back. It goes to the spine. It's it's so beautiful now This book is interesting to me because there is a friendship in this book that turns sexual But I'm not sure if it's like I want when I read it the first time I was like yes the wife like like the wife gives the, the the husband like permission because she's very ill and and the relationship turns sexual and and they don't change so i thought it was okay but then i kind of thought about it and I, i'm not sure if the wife in the end knows or gives permission or if he just cheated on her like i would have to reread this but the thing about reading this book is this book i actually have a little annotation in here where is it right here beautiful writing overall so poetic feels like a dream take your time reading it and i remember i did take my time reading this i read this like in a month because it is kind of dreamlike so i wonder if i read that the wife is okay with it and that everyone is happy and okay with this thing or if i didn't read that and i just assumed that so i don't know but anyway with the cover i love this cover i think it's beautiful and i think this book warrants a second read Next up, we have a non-fiction book, and it's How to Be a Good Creature by Cy Montgomery. Now, if you know me, you know that I love The Soul of an Octopus by Cy Montgomery, and this was uh, uh, illustrated by Rebecca Green, and it's a memoir of thir in 13 animals. Basically, this is a memoir of, of Cy Montgomery, but it's told through 13 animals that kind of changed her life. And look at the cover. It's got all of the animals in it. It's got a little pig, a dog, um, a fox. It's got an, an octopus. She does talk about Athena in this one, which is uh, the first octopus in The Soul of an Octopus. And I just really love this little book and also the illustrations inside. I was gonna get this in Kindle edition because it was a lot cheaper, but I didn't want to miss out on this. Yeah, this is such a beautiful, beautiful book. I love the foiling. I love how the title is very clear. I, I just everything about this i love it up next we have another book <laughs> that is not translated to english i'm sorry but still and this is el bosque profundo de sofia rey now this is basically sofia rey used the idea of tarot cards and created her own tarot deck and every card 
has a like myth associated to it and it, it's like if you could use this one it's like if you could actually read the tarot with this and and each one has a story to tell and i just think this book is so gorgeous look at it like look how all the leaves go right into that center where there's nothing except the title and look at the end papers look at that wow like that's oof. i love it i love how simplistic it is i love the colors i love that in the back we have this little woman again this is very it reminds me a lot of frida kahlo ish so i guess i have a thing for frida kahlo i do i actually have two little art prints of frida kahlo of course um reproductions i'm <laughs> not that rich i'm not rich at all and the last book i have here i actually just got this so you're getting a sneak peek into my haul and that is in the City in the Middle of the Night by Charlie Jane Anders and this is kind of a special edition and it's all white the original one is all black with the with the same things it's just that it's in black but I thought in white it looks so striking and so beautiful and I love how the pastel colors work with it and it's spray edge which I actually this is the first book I have sprayed edge I kind of want to spray edge my copy of The City We Became, but I want to read that first to see if I like it. But anyway, yeah, this I this is throwing the white balance off because there you go. Look at that. It's got the little stars and everything and, and the color. I just love this like soft and gentle color scheme. And I love that well, this is about a city in the middle of the night, but it's white, so there you go. Those are my 10 favorite most beautiful book covers i could probably do more i know most of you were wondering where these were but um these are all uh, uh, its own things and then i also have these over here but these are like special editions i just wanted to go with like books that weren't special editions or anything well this is kind of like a, a special edition but it's, it's it's a paperback it's nothing like truly fancy like you can get it and it's really cheap so yeah those are my top 10 favorite covers on my shelves and on my tbr shelves also do you have any favorite covers on your shelves please tell me do not link me to the amazon page where i can get them because i probably will because i'm a sucker i'm such a sucker for cover buying like the dead astronauts was straight up a cover buy because i don't really need it i don't i like you don't need that book in order to understand born but i saw that cover and i was like mama's gonna get that book <laughs> so she did <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching just a friendly reminder that i post videos every monday wednesdays and fridays and sometimes i pepper in videos throughout the week or weekend if i'm feeling a little bit extra and without further ado i bid you adieu and i hope to see you in another galaxy far far away bye guys beautiful covers yeah